Aaron here with Ultimate Consulting. Are you ready to be exceptional at your work? Are you ready to be a leader? Not sure how to get there? That's okay. This is for you. Power and influence are two things that as a leader you need to understand how they work together. They're basically two sides of the, of, of the same coin. Your ability and power is to understand that it's simply positional. It's rank based and it's leverage. And you want to use that very sparingly. You want to use it only when you absolutely have to. And there's ways of doing that. So the ideal circumstance for utilizing your power and leverage comes from the old adage of with rank comes responsibility. You're in a position of authority to make certain decisions. And so you and your team work through some of the decision making process, line some things up, and then you have some courses of action you can take. And then because you're the leader, and you're in the position of authority, you've got all the inputs, you then get to decide which course of action you're going to take. And so in that, that settles all argument or all discussion, and you move forward from there. And so that's where that rank has that privilege. You have the responsibility to make, make a decision, and then you're accountable for what that decision is. But you have that flexibility as given to you by the organization. Influence is what allows you to do that effectively with your team, because influence is built off your ability to facilitate, develop trust, cohesion and confidence with your team. And you've done that through all the work that you've been doing with your team, uh, with your, you know, delegating things out and developing your staff to be able to, you know, persistently execute on their own with little, little to no oversight, because you've grown them as leaders to understand what their expectation is, what their boundaries are, and how to utilize their resources effectively to be effective at the tasks and missions that you have set aside for them. So remember, the big goal of you know, of influence is simply that the goal is to, you know, facilitate things efficiently, which you're already doing through your trust and cohesion. And then the power portion of it is to be used very sparingly and, uh, and when so moderately at best, because really you shouldn't have to use a lot of leverage. If you are, you're, you're not doing things right. Um, <laughs> and you're going to destroy your team doing that as well. So make sure that you're, you know, building trust, build cohesion, build those teams, develop them into good leaders so they can give you good feedback. And then, yeah, when it comes time to a decision point where somebody has to make that ultimate choice that falls to you as a person in position of authority and do so well, make a good decision, be accountable, be responsible. Remember the buck stops with you. If things go poorly, you take the hit. If things go well, team gets the praise and on it goes. So till next time.